Triathlon, as we know, is three sports merged into one. When we talk about time and distance, it is the swimming leg that takes up the least of them both. The swimming park can range from 750 meters in a sprint distance triathlon to 3.8 kilometers for an Ironman event. Despite being the shortest of the triathlon disciplines, it could be one of the most exhausting if not done right. A swim starts a triathlon and that is why it is very important to not just be quick in the water, but also highly efficient. When the swimming portion of the competition is over, there is still a lot of competition left, which is why maintaining Maintaining freshness is such an important element in swimming. To maintain fitness for the long road ahead, it is necessary to be efficient in your movements in the water. You will not be able to maintain the required intensity in the later stages of the event if you are inefficient and continue to exhaust yourself. And that could become a problem. That's why an effective and well-rounded swimming program is a must for every triathlete. In this video, we will be talking about the top 10 swimming drills that can enhance your efficiency in the water. Sculling. Sculling teaches you how to feel the water. The purpose of this drill is to help you feel like you always have pressure against your hands and forearms. Push the water outwards from your center line to about outside shoulder width with your arms stretched forward and slightly down from the surface. Push the water back to the center by turning your hands inwards. Rep in a continuous motion. Keep your wrists sturdy and your fingers pulled slightly down at all times so that the palms face back towards you in both sections of the action. This will cause the water to go back towards you and hopefully propel you forward. If you find yourself sliding Sliding backwards, it's most likely because your hands are facing away from you at some point during the motion, pushing the water in that direction. Your forearms should point towards the bottom of the water, keeping your elbows visible. Your elbows should be in front of your shoulders in this position. The skull comes from the forearm, which keeps the elbows locked. In a continuous action, your hands can press on toward the center of your body, then turn outward and push away. Face the palms of your hands towards your feet with your arms by your sides, as this is how you want to press the water. Make a figure of eight motion with your forearms to keep pressing the water backwards while shifting your palm position. Six kick, one pull. Do six kicks while looking at the bottom of the pool with one hand out in front, the other by your side, and your core rotated 90 degrees to the surface of the water. To switch sides, take one stroke and roll your hips under the water. The trick is to attempt to generate the action from the hips rather than lifting your head as you take your stroke. This will help you maintain good body alignment throughout your swim. It will also strengthen your kicks and your body rotation. Finger drag. While swimming, when your hand comes out of the water, try dragging your finger on the top of the water for a few seconds before you submerge it. Do this with a high elbow and this will help you amazingly with body rotation. Make sure that the elbow is straight up facing the sky because that is what makes the body rotate along the center line of our body. Touching your trunks. With the clock always ticking, triathletes are always in a hurry and at times, makes them miss the finish of their strokes. To get the full value out of your strokes, it is very important to finish them properly. So dip your hands into the water with a good straight elbow and make sure before they come out of the water, they have brushed your thighs. This will help you to achieve the necessary follow through, which will improve the power of your stroke. Swim with your fist. Swimming with your fists helps you activate your forearms. By employing this technique, you are bringing the forearms into play and restricting the hands. The idea is to aim your forearms down towards the pool's bottom with your elbows angled out to the sides so that your arm doesn't just slice through the water. When you swim the next length with your palms open, you should notice a lot more resistance to your pool and a lot more distance traveled per stroke at a faster pace. Head up, front crawl. Swim full stroke front crawl with your chin on the water's surface. Practice keeping your head still by focusing on a spot near the end of the pool for a great sighting drill. You'll be much more likely to stay on a straight course if you keep your head still, especially when you transfer your swimming to open water. By doing this, you can have better control over your hand entry as you can see it now. Swimming in a pool is very different from swimming in the chaotic waters of a triathlon. With athletes all around you jostling to go ahead in the same space as you, it could get very difficult to manage that without practice. That is why why practicing sightings is very important. Just to make sure where you are headed, pull your head out of the water for about eight to 10 strokes and observe the surroundings. Then go back in. Rotator kick. Begin by kicking on your front with your arms by your sides. In this position, on your front, kick six times, then twist your body from your hips into a sideline position. Rotate back to the initial posture of lying on your front after six more kicks. The kicking continues before rotating to the opposite side and returning. To get the most out of this practice, stretch your neck or gaze down and twist from your hips rather than your shoulders. While lying on your side, this should make it easy to move your head to the side to breathe. It helps with kicking efficiency, rotation from the hips, and also not lifting the head to breathe. Single arm. 
This drill aims to improve your balance in the water. By improving your balance, you also get added control over your swimming. Swim front crawl with only one arm while keeping the other at your side. The goal is for your hand to enter in line with your shoulders and pull under the body without crossing the center line. Keep your core engaged by pulling your belly button toward your spine and looking towards the bottom. Straight arm recovery. Finish your stroke with a strong finish and accelerate your hand out of the water. Keep moving your hand up and locking your elbow to assist you in reaching as high as you can. Relax as your hand crosses the water and let it fall out in front of you. This will help you with arm recovery and give your hands a better entry point. And that ends our video for today. We do hope that you liked the video and if you did, you must hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and staying with me up until the end. We at Triathlon Global Insights keep you updated on triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. You may like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next upload. Adios!